Well, good morning, folks. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. If you uh, watched the last video, you're probably wondering what I'm doing in the woods. Was it you heading to an abbey? I've just reached the uh, corner where the abbey was, and as I was about to stop, a car pulled in. So I was like, what's a car pulling in at half nine for? So I didn't stop to find out, and less than half a mile up the road. Soufre Woods. My lips are moving. <laughs> I'm not adding the audio later. So it's 200 kilometers today. A few bits around the walls. A little bit of climbing. Uh, breakfast will be at JJ's at Hagworthenham. So if that sounds like your bag of tea, stick around. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> when I finally get dressed. Well, you're joining me out on the South Lincolnshire Wolds. About 80 miles in. Been struggling overnight to uh, charge the, well, my phone as well as the uh, GoPro. Temperature too low. <laughs> that was the warning on the phone. Temperature too low, slow charging. But no warning on the GoPro except it couldn't really get it charged, so. So you're joining me, well, I just made my own diversion because of loads of loose chippings. Um, just making my way to the other side of Bag Enderby. I meant to go through there. I'm just going to stop in Bag Enderby actually, show you some hobbitses. Yeah, won't we'll be going there now. Isn't this brilliant? It milk great. Paul Whitehouse, that's always his, that was his name. Can you remember in the 80s or no, it was the 90s, wasn't it? It milk great. <laughs> Not very good at impressions. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that. Right, anyway. It's been a great morning. About one o'clock now, had a stop for lunch at JJ's at, uh, oh, what's the name of the place? <laughs> Hagworthenham. And I bumped into those people from Grinsby and Cleefox, fully enough, doing 100, so I said hello to them. Morning. And shared a little bit of the route back. I was well ahead of those guys, I was flying away. But I was on the downhills. As soon as <laughs> things went up, I was right at the bottom of the pack. <laughs> Arms are out. Not brave enough to get the legs out though. <sighs> so I take carried away. That guy's having a great time down there. He's not having to do any of the work. It's what you see when you go to Port, isn't it? I've just gone through Tetford, different way in, all the back roads, and there's a sign for Little London. It must be a different Little London because the Little London I'm thinking of is near, it's near Six Hills, but this one, I don't know, we're near Six Hills, and there was a sign there, uh, road unsuitable for HGVs. I might just be looking that one up because if it says no, not suitable for HGVs. It may be a road that goes upwards. So, and yeah, in that respect, today's ride, I've called it filling the heat map. Basically, I'm just trying to ride, ride loads more roads than I've been up to before. Including, I'm going to Ox Oxcombe as well. It's a dead end little village. I'm not to diss it or anything. It's just a village that you go into and there's nothing there, you have to turn around and come back again, so I'm going there once I get up top of the Bluestone Heath Road. It's near Belchford, not too far up the road. I'm doing that a couple of times actually, a couple places where you just go dead end, turn around, so anyway, 
Take for climb right ahead. Can't talk. Well, what'd you like at? Well, would you look at that? Third of three climbs. That means I've got 120k, I've complete flat. It's only worked that way. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going all the Tetford Glide. But I'll tell you what, whip the camera out. As a distraction, it's just red all the way up. No 40 meters to go, halfway. Cause that would be boring Spend my last cent on cheese and champagne What a wonderful morning Never mind she declined to the first day It was only on my birthday Never mind all the lines on the highway Give me time to reflect a bit Cause I'm just having a good day Having a good day Having a real good morning I'm just having a good day here it is, Oxcombe, half a mile. Well, this is it, Oxcombe. Not a lot here. Stables and just there, a pottery. Just spoke to the lady there, chatted away for a few minutes. It's a beautiful little spot. And uh, it's got a nice climb. Back up again. Another road to nowhere done. Mill Road in Scambles Bay, and it joins onto the uh, the Viking Way. I may do that one day. It's a long distance walking route, but I think you can do it on a on a mountain bike. Maybe one day, because I don't like walking. Walking takes too long. You don't see enough. It's just single track with passing places and beautiful daffodils all in a row. They're a stunning little spot, Gorsby in the heart of the Lincolnshire Wolds. It's lovely and warm. Oh, yeah. oh more of this, please. <laughs> it is absolutely stunning today. There's, there's barely any wind. Beautiful. New views over the county, I've not seen before. And when it comes to roads I can take, I've already decided once this summer is over, or rather once Transcontinental is over, I want to take this channel in a different direction. Well, not in a different direction so much, but just want to up the level a little bit more. I'm going to invest in a drone. I want to see the places that I visit from the air and I want to share that with you. In the seven years that I first jumped on a bike, I think Lincolnshire is just an amazing place to come and ride. Again, I think it's one of those, you know, place like home, but I can literally cycle around here and it's just so peaceful. There's no towns really, they're all large villages, no shopping centres. I think the biggest village really is Ludford. What I'm kind of saying is really, it's the walls, it's not built up, small little villages and hamlets, the odd shop if you're lucky, and very little traffic, which is firmly at the top of my top five list of things I like about cycling in Lincolnshire. So if I needed to prove how calm it was, there's the, there's the proof, look at that. 
barely moving. In Lincolnshire, it's very rare to be this calm. Find me a few hours later. More straight roads, bendy roads, daffodils, motorbikes everywhere, a few cars, people out on long rides, uphill, downhill. I found public toilets where I didn't know there was an E before. Market reason, I'm looking at you. It's a really luxury one as well. By that, I mean, I can actually fit my bike in the toilet and take it with me. A couple more hours of riding. Just want to say thank you to everybody who recently donated by buying me a coffee, which I'll stick a link in the corner again. If you want to support the channel and my efforts in competing in a couple of ultra distance races later this year, all that money involved in buying equipment, clothing and things, be much appreciated. Thank you. Any questions, comments, you know what to do, stick them down below. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.